So recently I tweeted this, begging Nintendo to bring more Animal Crossing to Nintendo Switch. Pretty reasonable request, and plenty of you agreed. But what's the most likely outcome of this ever happening? Today we discuss this and highlight why rumours like these will probably never come true. So let's jump straight into it, Nintendo are regularly updating the Nintendo Switch Online service, including adding new content to the Expansion Pass subscriptions. So it makes you wonder, could the classic, the original, the iconic Animal Crossing N64 version ever be added to the Nintendo Switch? online library. Out of all of these titles and as things stand it's probably the most likely. Interestingly this carries a tiny little bit of credibility over the others because well Nintendo are actively adding N64 games to Nintendo Switch Online with the most recent being Pokemon Puzzle League I believe. But what has got a lot of people hyped is the follow up tweet where Nintendo themselves confirm even more N64 games will be added soon. So I guess that puts us one step closer right? Now, earlier in the year, Kirby in the Forgotten Land launched its way onto Nintendo Switch and casually became the second best-selling Kirby game of all time. Well done, Kirby! But what's interesting about this is what happened on the back of Kirby's success. Well, Nintendo decided to release Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, adding it to the now ever-growing N64 library on Nintendo Switch. They also randomly updated the other three classic Kirby games, adding new levels for Nintendo Switch Online subscribers but the most notable news was the surprise announcement of a second Kirby game in 2022 called Kirby's Dream Buffet which will launch on the eShop this summer and only months after Kirby in the Forgotten Land. So it begs the question, could Nintendo treat Animal Crossing in a similar way to Kirby? maybe. Anyway, well done if you're still watching, that was a lot of Kirby, like the video and pat yourself on the back. Now back to Animal Crossing is pretty well known, Animal Crossing New Horizons is the second best selling Nintendo Switch game of all time, selling just shy of 40 million copies. Insane! And two years in, Nintendo dropped the Happy Home Paradise DLC, which no doubt boosted Nintendo Switch Online subscriptions alone, so it's safe to say Animal Crossing has been hugely successful for Nintendo. Even more so than Kirby. So what's next for the series? Surely Nintendo wants to use this to promote Nintendo Switch Online, right? And with the N64 library growing every month, could the Nintendo 64 version of Animal Crossing be in for a chance? Well, yeah, probably, but there's a catch. Now, Animal Crossing, or Animal Forest as it translates to, was only ever released in Japan, so unless Nintendo surprised the community with a fully translated version of the original Animal Crossing N64, if it was to launch on the Nintendo Switch Online service, it's likely it will be a regional exclusive and only available in Japan. Ouch. This is something Nintendo aren't shy about doing either by the way, for example the Pokemon Puzzle League game we mentioned earlier is only available for Nintendo Switch Online members in the West, and Dr Mario 64 is only available for members in Japan, so regional exclusives are a thing. So could we ever see Animal Crossing N64 come to Nintendo Switch? Yes, but it probably won't happen for us or players outside of Japan. Of course with all this said and done, second guessing Nintendo is almost impossible, and honestly Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we hear an Animal Crossing announcement sooner than we think. Splatoon villages anyone? 